How's it going everybody? The following video exhibits the ignition procedure for two different styles of plate burner and kind of shows the reason why you would want to use a plate burner. The powerful IR infrared heat coming off of this is kind of analogous to the hot coals of a fire versus the flames of a fire. So by focusing a fairly large fireball into a very tight combustion zone, we were able to generate incredible infrared energy, which has a higher rate of heat transfer than direct flame impingement. It also produces less carbon monoxide. Maybe you remember sitting by a campfire one time and you noticed that the red hot coals were way hotter than the flames themselves of the campfire. So you would get a lot more energy transfer. It would go right through your clothes, but the flames weren't so intense. It's a good analogy. see the one that has this square body in it likes to be about right there on the valve so there's a 17.5 millimeter gap in between the nozzle and the venturi port see here how this nozzle screwed in because this is going to be shipped disassembled that's basically the gist of it lights right up take full power off this nozzle which is amazing so the flame has to shoot down inside there we're not lighting the surface okay Justin so I put a black line with a marker on these tubes so you know where to slide this adjuster for each burner That one works, this one does not work. Crazy how that works. All right guys, so just a final couple safety precautions. This is a high flow propane nozzle right here. So you gotta be careful in the event that that hose bursts or has a leak or something. You need to protect this hose from external heat from your heating process. You may even wanna get a stainless steel braided hose it just comes with a standard um, rubber hose, but you can slide a piece of wire shield over this or some other means of covering it up and keeping it away from the heat. You need to monitor the heat of that hose the first couple times you run your process to see what it does. And this thing always needs to be ran in a very well ventilated area to reduce the risk of a levy explosion. Um, and as I said, just keep an eye on that hose. Make sure the valve isn't getting too hot. You need to protect those elements of the device or you could have some serious issues on your hands.